Tandy. I'm much nicer than that. Anyway. All right, all right, that's enough. That's enough. Don't whoop. Yeah, I don't like it when you whoop. You scare the guests. They scare you with their whooping. A little bit. It's I'm like okay a locust okay swarm now. sometimes. <laughs> whooping down. If locusts whoop. How are you? You all right? I'm good. Yeah? I'm good. It's, it's always, seeing this film, seeing even a clip like that, it's, it's quite... Is that um, very dark film? Yeah? It's, it's pretty dark. I'm much nicer than that in real life. Are you? Oh, yes. Well, that's nice. I've never shouted, never, never argued shouted with my husband. I'm always very meek, very sweet. Are you really an actress? <laughs> yeah. I, my experience with actresses is they, they are a bit... Um, Tricky. Can be. Mm. Mm, mm, can be. But you grew up in um, England. A little bit in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. And a little then... bit, yeah, and then moved to England when I was three years old. And that's right. where I've Do you stayed. remember Zimbabwe if you moved at three? You no, know, I don't. I think it was such a culture shock coming from Africa to England that I just blanked it all. Which yeah. is a shame because I would like to remember some of it. Well, go back. You've got money. Yep. <laughs> You buy a plane ticket. Are you frightened of flying? Is that your thing? I am. And I, I am. Are you really? I really Are am. you really? Do you have a fear? Of, we got a fear no, of flying honestly, women coming soon, on. When I realised that you had that lady, I'm just, I'm going to watch that because uh, it was after I had my first daughter. My first daughter. Right. I just, that the first plane ride after having her, I just found it extremely difficult. Really? Did I you have just, her with you? <laughs> No, no, I'm serious. Did you have her on the plane with no, you? No, I, I didn't, so maybe that was... Yeah, so you were the separation anxiety yeah. from the baby but and stuff. But also just having, having a kid and being so in touch with, with life and new life, and it just makes you more aware of your mortality. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I just get frightened. Frightened yeah. of the turbulence. <laughs> Bumpiness. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's awful. Oh, it's terrifying. So you're stuck here now. Anyway, we'll have nothing to talk to this poor woman about when she comes <laughs> on. So, I, I, what about? So, you you grew up in England then, and yes. you went to? Did you go to Cambridge or something? I did. Cambridge University, very yes. prestigious. Thank you. <laughs> I just, that I mean, never no, it's interesting. <laughs> I'm interested to know if it's the same person who's clapping for Cambridge University that went woo woo like that. I suspect. Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, no, don't. Um, what did you study? Did you study acting at Cambridge? Did they do that? No, anthropology. Anthropology? Mm. Do tell. What does that mean? Uh, the study of... <laughs> the study of the human species. Really? Which is actually quite useful being an actress. I would imagine it would. In you Hollywood study people. Especially. Yeah, what? Well, we don't have many humans in Hollywood, <laughs> so you'll have to go somewhere else for that. Well, you know, Cro Magnon Man and. Yeah. Is the that what you do? You did it for. You just studied men for uh, <laughs> your years at college. Well, yes. Yeah. Well, a lot, a lot of girls do that at college. It's not. It's important. Yeah. It's, it stood me well. Do so. What, what kind of anthropology did you study? Tribes? Did you study? All sorts of things. I loved medical anthropology, studying diseases and how they've spread through the world and um, where they start and where they end up and that kind of thing. Where do they start? Well, it depends on the disease. All oh, right. For example, the flu. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't. Asia, that, that Asia usually is where the flu starts because I've had There's Asian so many flu. Different strains. Bird flu. Have you ever had bird flu? No. No, I don't think you can get it. You have to be a bird. But the. <laughs> but I don't know. I. So you, did you come out and do your first movie out here? I remember the first time I saw you, I think, was in Mission Impossible 2. Okay. Was that, was that your first movie out here? Mm, oh, no, it wasn't. I, my first film was in Australia when I was 16. I think my first film in America was, I think I was maybe 20, and, and I can't remember. You've done a lot of films was. then, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fair, a, fair, a fair few, but Mission Impossible is the film that most people identify me with. I don't know why. It's a, it's a big movie. Tom Cruise, possibly. Tom Cruise is that. Yeah. Did you go on well with Tom Cruise? He's incredibly nice. He and I are big friends, you know, we're big buds. Are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we go out, get yeah, hammered, you know. Really. <laughs> Yeah, he's crazy. Yes. Crazy Tom, I call him. <laughs> uh, sometimes he calls me Whiskey Pete. I call him Crazy, crazy Tom. Tom. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. So you did that. Do you, now, what do you prefer? You, do you live in Britain now, or do you live out here? I do. I live in London. You live in London. With my two little girls and my gorgeous husband. Oh, you have a gorgeous husband. Gorgeous. Well, that's you're happily married. That's a, what a relief. Ecstatically. I talk to so many unhappily married people on this show. It's a shame. <laughs> yeah. No, I do. I have to counsel them. But I'm glad you're happy. How long have you been married? Seven years. That's great. Yeah. This is LA. That's a long time. It's a long. It's a long time. But it's very. It's very easy to be married to him. I must say. Why is it easy to be married to him? 
Can I marry him? And, uh, <laughs> I got there yeah, first. Yeah, you got there first. Yeah. How did you, how did you meet him? Um, on a film that he wrote for television. Um, and, uh, yeah, I acted in it. And it was love at first sight for me, but I can't say the same for him, unfortunately. What, is he blind? What happened? <laughs> I, I just, I remember after knowing him for a little while, I, I admitted that I was completely in love with him. And he said, um, well, that's lovely, but I can't say the same for you. And I was a goner at that point. No, 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 but it wasn't, he was being honest. I really appreciated that. Yes. Because in the past, I mean, my relationships were all about how someone else felt about me. It's like, oh, thank you for liking me. I'll be with you then. Right. But um, this was just, what was so incredible about it was that I was so clear on how I felt about him. And it was a revelation to but me. So how did he come around then? What happened? It took me a few weeks, but I, I got him there. Feminine wild. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I think that's very... I, I can see how that would probably happen. Anthropology. We, anthropology. You studied him. Studied a man and then... Got, yeah, it came in very useful. I'll bet it did. We've got to take a break. We'll talk to you in a minute. We'll be right back with Tandy Newton. Please welcome Tandy Newton, everybody. Sensational! Darling. Look at you. You look gorgeous. I like your outfit. It's very kind of Thank yeah. You. I didn't want to draw too much attention to myself. No, you know? I. I think you've failed miserably. <laughs> I. Uh, how are you? You all right? I'm really, really fantastic. Yes, good. you really, really are fantastically good. Yeah. <laughs> you are just gorgeous. Do you have a nice time making the film? I did. Yeah. I had so much fun that I actually thought someone would come and arrest me for having too good a time. Because you know me, I'm Miss Trauma, movies, playing people in the worst times of their yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, you're usually it's all so the... this was just fun and games. Yeah, and how was Eddie? Was he all right? Was Because he's in the fat suit, he's out the fat suit, he's playing a Chinese person, he's, he's like, all over the place. Crazy. He's incredibly sober and zen and charming. I was surprised. Yeah, I me too. To yeah, yeah, I'm surprised to hear it as well. He, what is it? <laughs> Tell me about the, the, the airplane thing that oh you were... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't take me back there, please. Because the last time you were here on the show, the fear of yeah. flying yeah, woman was on. There was a woman on to help us with the fear of flying. Oh, can I go there again? Well, mm. I flew in two days ago. Right. My husband and I, and we didn't want to leave London in the first place because we left our two babies. Oh, boy. Um, and we hit clear air turbulence. Right. And the difference between that and normal turbulence is that the captain, and they can't see it coming. Right. Because normally you see it coming on the radars and whatever, and you can go around it. Right. They, so you end up in the middle of the worst turbulence possible with no preparation. Everything went flying. I mean, I actually understood for the first time why you wear your seatbelt. Right. Was, there was a woman in the front who was wailing and crying. I was breathing into a paper bag My it was God. like it's that's like that's like me when i just like go to vegas and everything's calm <laughs> i'm like oh, oh people are like do yes. you want the five dollar lunch i'm like no It was really... How bad was it? I mean, were you like, ah, oh, I would do it now, but my skirt is way too short. But, you know, really... Oh, go on, give it a go. Stop it! America needs to know about clear air turbulence. It was bad. Yeah, it was, Just, I mean, was it like a roller coaster or something? Absolutely. Yeah. Bucking forward, back, I mean, like, wine glasses flying across the cabin. Well, that sounds like the 80s A party to at me. yours, yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, listen, the, in the clip there, you're at one of these water parks. Did you go on the Real ride world. when you were on it? No! Oh, but I love you know, them. I, I, I offered to go down it if everybody would put a bit of money in for charity, but right. I lost my nerve. Really? I, you know I did it? The first time I went one was in Montreal. They've got a big you one in Montreal. Do it. I did. I went down the big slidey one, and I was wearing my, you know, swimming trunks, and when I got to the bottom, I couldn't find them. <laughs> <laughs> but they were still on my person, if you know what I mean. In your person. Yeah. You retained them. Wow. It was... Uh, That's I, uh, amazing. A yeah. colonic. Uh, of. It, was, it was kind of... I, th I don't know if it was a ride or a surgical procedure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it was... Uh, it was a, they're fantastic, those things. No, but I think, no. No, you take flight. How can you be scared of being on a plane and you do one of those? Well, you know what's interesting? I'm frightened of, like, sitting on a plane. But when I get on a helicopter, I'm like, ooh, this is nice. Why? I don't know. I, I think I may be what the kids Strange. call insane. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. My neurosis doesn't seem to, base, uh, to be based in reality at all. Wow. Yeah, that's well, but are you, are you that's in... terrible. You can't predict it at all. No, no, no. Sometimes I just... It's, I'm like clear air turbulence. You are. I can just be going along and suddenly go... Ah! 
We're all going to die. Now, listen, have you been hanging around with the royals? I've heard that about oh, this. Oh, and you were making fun of Charlie or Chucky or whatever. Well, Prince Charles? Yes, the chief. I wasn't making fun of him. I was just taking revenge him. for 300 years of colonial <laughs> oppression. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I'm joking. He's the, one of the loveliest Germans that ever lived. <laughs> they I, are German, you know that, right? Oh, I don't know. Are you friendly, okay. really friendly with them? Well, just before Christmas, I was invited to the, to the palace right. um, for the, the Achievers' reception. Lovely. And I was a puddle on the floor. What can I say? Up really? until then, oh, the royals. What, but then, you know, a bit of flattery and I'm anyone's. Really? You look fantastic this evening. <laughs> May I just say, if I was on a plane in turbulence, I'd like to be sitting next to you. That's a very big compliment. Yes, it is a big compliment, actually. Even the idea of being on a plane... We've got to take a break. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back with Tandy Newton, everybody. Christopher's staying with me. I'm his mom, you know? He should be with his mom. I should have him, right? You know you can't take care of him. What are you going to do for money? I got an interview at Dean Witter for, for an internship. And I got it. So I'm going to stand out in my program. Oh, I'm leaving tomorrow. Are you? Are you going back going to Blighty? Back to, going back to London. Back to your royal friends. I'm hoping that the plane is just... Smooth. You'll be absolutely fine. Try and get as tranked as you can before... I... <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be after because now you've been in the worst of it. It's fine. It, now it'll be. There's no. I it'll hope be fine. So. Yeah, I yeah. Hope so, it'll but be I have right. a feeling that if we hit any turbulence, I will freak out. But what am I going to do? I just have to. Yeah, deal yeah with it. you'll be all right. Scream and, and make girly noises. That's yeah. what I do. <laughs> Can I ask you what what is the meaning of your name, Tandy? What does that mean? Tandy is an abbreviation of Tandy Way, which is my. My Tandy way. Tandy way. Well, what was that? That's is that an African name? It is. It's um, an east, southeast African name that means beloved. Oh, that's nice. Because I was just nice. thinking that. Better than yeah. meaning something. <laughs> well, in that neighbourhood, yeah. Oh, it was nice. I mean, it's better than <laughs> bitch or whatever. Yeah. It's... <laughs> It isn't, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> God, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in ages. <laughs> now, listen, what about... Uh, are you? Ed Begley's on tonight. Ed Begley Jr.'s yes, on tonight. He's, right. he's the big, you know, save the planet guy. Are you, uh, are you like that now as well, I arrived in my, in my Prius this evening. A Prius? Mm -hmm. You have a Prius? I have one at home, but there's right. a, the, the limo company that we use in L.A. Is right. They have Priuses, Priuses as yeah. well? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. nice. Do, do, do we pay for you to come in a, in a Prius? Limo? Yes. Do we really? Yes. Do you, then do you think I could get a parking space for my bike? Because <laughs> if we can pay for that, maybe we can find a place for me to put my bike. <laughs> do you, and in you, London, you probably uh, don't even have... Do you have a car in London? A do Prius. A Prius? You, you have, have to. Right. Like, in cities, you have to be in an automobile that's not going to put junk into the atmosphere. I never even had a car when I was in London. I was just get on the underground choo-choo. No. What do they call it? The tube. The tube. The tube, yeah. But I do, I get lots of attention these days, you see. Yeah. Which is lovely, but yeah. sometimes no makeup. Try on, wearing some pants. That would slow things down, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, you'd be all right. Now, listen, are you, uh, are you a Manilow fan? I heard that as well. Um, well, you came and you take without taking, and you sent me away, oh, Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you kiss yeah, me yeah, and that, stop me from shaking. That, that's fine. Yeah. That's, that's, that's nice. <laughs> you are a man of fact. You know that I was in the same category as him at the Emmys, I and he know. beat me. I he was beat so me. furious. Yeah, I was, I was too. Frothing. You know when he came on the show, he gloated. <laughs> He was he, gloating. Before he won. Yeah, no, after he won. Yeah. After he won. He came on and he gloated. He wouldn't come on before he won. He was too nervous. Mm. Yeah, but after he came and he gloated. Have you ever met him? No. He's very nice, actually. I bet he is. He is. He's you should go to Las Vegas and see beautiful him. Songs. Yeah, I know. He doesn't write them, though. Right. You know that song that he says, you know, I write the songs? He didn't write that. <laughs> I'm, I'm very bitter about the whole Emmy experience. 
Yeah, no, it, was, it, it makes was, you go back tougher for the next time. No, uh, next time? There'll be no next time for me. That was my shot. <laughs> that was my Don't shot. Say that. That, yeah, it was my shot. From here on in, it's all CBS. <laughs> Well, the C stands for classy and the BS speaks for itself, yeah. <laughs> Listen, come back and see us the next time you're in town. It's lovely to see you, as always. Tandy Newton, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Please welcome Tandy Newton, everybody. <laughs> Sit on my jacket. There you are. <sighs> How are you? You all right? I'm so well. I think the reason why I make films is so I can come and see you. It's the only reason I go through this muck every night. I tell you, yeah, because yeah. in the hope that you will come back and have a chat. Let's just not tell anyone. Ah, uh, it's all right. They're, they're not paying any attention, actually. <laughs> I think I lost them round about that you can eat sandwiches and lose weight. What they're all like, we got to get out of here and have some sandwiches. <laughs> what about that? I know, it's an odd thing. Did you ever try and do that? Yeah, just eat, uh... Although for the movie, David Trimmer did ask me to uh, get friendly with the desserts, which was fine by me. Really? You know. Did David Trimmer direct this movie? He did. Yes, he From did. Friends? Was he like, oh, he can you do uh, some acting? Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was really like that, Craig. That's a very no, intelligent yeah. question, it isn't really it? I'm very sorry. Smart, yeah. Yeah, and I'll tell him you said that. In fact. Yeah, I do, do, because yeah. you know he and I, I are very. It. Oh, we're like that. <laughs> <laughs> the last time you were here, you were very frightened of. Uh, you had been. You and I talked a lot about this. I remember at the time you no, were frightened no, no. of flying. I know. It's um. It was a very real fear because I went on a on a plane from Lo from London to LA and we had clear air turbulence. I know what that is. is now. Have you have you had clear? Air I've become a pilot. Uh, <laughs> I swear. I no. Of I, I I've been I've been I was uh, just like you. I was terrified of flying, so I I started taking flying lessons. A lot of flying lessons. You are so crazy. LA. No, yes. No, I I am I am a bit LA. Yeah, I like a latte. Okay. <laughs> a very smart thing to do, of course, because if you learn about the mechanics of flying, then you'll still be terrified. Oh, why don't you do that then? <laughs> well, I'm terrified, but I've narrowed it down to one pilot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm really a bad pilot as well. You don't want to come up with me, no. So, I, I start crying if it gets bumpy. <laughs> and I'm the pilot. I'm like, oh! <laughs> I'd be even more anxious if you were... No, 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 no it's all right. You should learn about it. I'm telling you, it takes the fear away. I have been reading some books. There was a there was a book which really helped called Ask the Pilot. Right. Mm -hmm. um, written by a pilot, like your good self. Well, yeah, probably um, a better one. You yeah. are a good writer, though, my love. I know Thank you are. You very much. And um, and it was it was helpful. But you know the thing is, you're you're in the air. There's turbulence going. You know that no plane has ever gone down from turbulence. It's oh, a fact. Is that, is that what they told you? But I just think. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, that's right. No plane ever... It's true, though, isn't it? Oh, sure, yeah. Stop it! <laughs> there are things you can do. Uh, that's what... There are things you can do. You slow the plane down, for one. That stops it bumping so much. Evidence. Yeah. Just make sure it doesn't stop. Well, no, you... <laughs> You can't actually stop the plane. That's you against. Sure? It's just against the rules. You yeah, sure? yeah. Just yeah. make sure it's. Just yeah, you have to keep going. Keep, keep going. It going. Unless you're. What about helicopters? Do you like helicopters? The last time I was in a helicopter was with uh, my friend Tom Cruise. Oh. <laughs> I I tell you, I keep something here in case he's ever on the show. I keep it here, and you can put it down there. It's my. It's my thing that I keep here in case he's ever on. I just realised that's so mean. It's not mean. It's not mean. It's considerate. It's in case he has to put his feet on it. Oh. Anyway, he was a, you were in a helicopter with Tom Cruise. Was it with someone you. else controlling it from the outside? No. All right, I'm sorry. No. No, no, no. It's fine. Was he flying it? Can he fly a helicopter? I think he can, but he was letting the pilot do his thing, and uh, it was very dark, it was very foggy, and we were flying into his home, and he knew the way. I mean, in, in the door? Eh? he <laughs> <laughs> flying inside his house? Big door. Like, the Huge. giant house with... You know what? If I had Tom Cruise's money, I would live in a hollowed-out volcano. <laughs> like a Bond villain, you know, Why? and then... Because then I 
could land my helicopter right inside and I, like I would be coming in and the music would go dee 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 and the, the, hel the volcano would go and I'd land my helicopter right. You could right. put nice little windows around the edge of the volcano with nice little curtains and little Ooh. window boxes, geraniums. Are you a girl by any chance? <laughs> you don't put, you don't put windows in your hollowed out volcano then? You could though. Oh. You, you, you could, you could, lava might come out, but all right. Out of the windows. Are you very girly girl like that? Do you, do you like no, the fruit? No, I'm really. not. I'm not girly girl, but, um, but maybe I should be. No, no, I, I think whatever you're doing seems to be working perfectly well. <laughs> now tell me about the, um, tell me about the film. Tell me about the, the film, the wonderful Run Fat Boy Run. Yes. Um, Is it about the Clinton campaign or? or uh... <laughs> the first Clinton. Oh, man. Goodness, I'm you're so asking. naughty. Um, it is the wonderful Simon Pegg, who... He's the, great. He was in Shaun of the Dead. He's amazing. And, and then Hot Fuzz. That's Hot another Fuzz. great I movie. I mean, he's like a, a secret. You guys have no idea what This guy got. is very talented. He he's really very is. Talented. He's very talented. And very... we've had him for ages over in England. He's been yeah, doing yeah. great stuff for Well, you've also time. had rickets for a long time, too. You know. <laughs> Don't go overboard. Don't get all un-American on us. <laughs> He's talented, we agree. He's like a giant ricket. He is like a giant, like a giant talented He's ricket. Giant, no, he is talented very talented, ricket. though, clearly. He's very talented. Did he write the film? He did. Oh, I see. He wrote the film and he plays a man who leaves me at the altar pregnant. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, but it's a comedy. Sure. <laughs> It is. It's yeah. hilarious. Is that, that's how the movie starts? It starts and then it cuts to five years later. He has to win you, win He's your got love. to win me back and he, the way he does it, he runs a marathon. Just like that. And your character is that <laughs> shallow? <laughs> oh, you ran a marathon. Oh, I'll take my pants off. No, Come on. <laughs> we, no, it's I mean I'm involved now. You are involved. Yeah. I know. I know. Do you do that? Do you are you very do you get very kind of even if you're in a film, do you get when you watch it, you're like, oh I hope everything works out all right? <laughs> Did. Does it? It does. I think so. It has it to. It's does. a comedy. That's it does. The, you know. It does work out. Yeah, because in the tragedy, that's when everyone stabs each <laughs> other and dies. <laughs> do you ever? Do you ever go and see these Which plays? Could be funny. Yeah, it, it works out. And those plays in London. Do you ever go and see the theatre? You live in London, right? I do. I do. So you go to the theatre and you see these fabulous old restoration tragedies, and everyone goes, oh, "I'm God. stabbing you now, yes. Father," and then everyone's and then the whole play ends. Everyone's covered Just in blood, and then the curtain blood. comes down, and that's it. <laughs> They kind of are, though, aren't they? You know, the other day I was invited to um, the Jack the Ripper um, at, at Madame Tussauds, the Waxwork right. Museum. There's a whole Jack the Ripper installation. Did I want to take my kids? Mm. It's very England, though. We yeah, have, it's, yeah. We have, <laughs> that's we have true. These strange oh, places. Oh, lovely. He was a serial killer. He was very nice with the yeah, children, now. And Sweeney Todd. Sweeney you know, Todd with the... Yeah, yeah, I know. And then they have this whole museum where you can go and see... People, waxwork figures having been hung, hung, drawn, and quartered, yeah. and gu guillotine, and these awful things that people used to do in the Middle Ages. And now, just now they just inject Botox in their faces and have surgery to enhance their bodies <laughs> under anaesthetic. And we can go and look at them too. Yeah, yeah, we, I look Here at them I all am. the time. Oh, you are not. Now you must say stuff like that because then people will go, "Oh, has she?" And you no, haven't. No, no absolutely. I know. Not. Oh, I know. I. Know. <laughs> I you know, if somebody wants to do that, it's got a lot more to do with than, than the skin and the flesh, let's face it. Yes, it's all right, right there. And there's deep stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, we, uh, I think we learned something there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spend time with me. <laughs> That's what we'll do. That's why you I, had me on. I'm always <laughs> happy to do it. The very wonderful Dandy Newton, everybody. <laughs> we'll be right back. Sauce! <laughs> Tandy Newton, everybody!
Yes, he's lovely. My, yes, my, he's... my pants weren't firm enough to attach the special thing in the back, so... Pants? You don't wear... <gasps> my undies. Underpants? <laughs> in America, pants, uh, we call them pants. They're That's the outside. right, my knickers. Do you yeah, call knickers? we don't call them knickers either, no. We call them What's underpants. What's wrong with you lot? Underpants... <laughs> I don't know. We're we're feeling a bit complacent at the moment. That's what yeah, it is. Sure. How are you? That's Jerry Butler in there. He's a friend I know. of mine. Oh, is yeah. he really? Well, yeah, a bit. Yeah. You uh, you do remind me. You remind me of Jerry. You know. Really? Gorgeous. God bless you. Uh, Scottish. I am Scottish. It's true. Originally. Funny. Jerry's not funny. <laughs> no, he's funny. He's a very nice man. He's very funny in the movie. Is he really? Yeah, he's it's, very it's, it's, it's funny. It's one of them Guy Ritchie movies, isn't it's it? It's one of them Guy Ritchie movies, and it's going to be one of three. And if Jerry doesn't want to do the second one, except there's very steamy sex with me in it. Oh, well. <laughs> is there steamy sex with Jerry in this one? There is. Well, there I, don't, is. I, don't, I don't want that. I, I can't, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, you know, effort, love. Effort. No, 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 I will. No, do, do, did you get on well with Jerry? I had a brilliant time. Jerry, in fact, you... but what was really annoying... No, I sh that, that sounds terrible, but the, the sex scene that we had to do together, he was very ill that day. Oh, so... yeah. The old, uh, sorry, this has never happened <laughs> to me before. <laughs> the old, uh, oh, we, I'm ill. We uh -huh. didn't even get that far, I think I've darling. got penis flu. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we'll probably have to cut that out, so don't worry about it. Anyway, we couldn't do it because you... we had a really bad cold. So we did the whole scene not spending any time together, and it's one of the most erotic scenes I've ever seen. How odd. I know, it's very strange. So you kind of, like, he... Hmm. <laughs> um, Guy had this brilliant idea that he just shot the whole scene in, in two tight close-ups, so he basically had to shag to camera in close-up. Ugh, if I had a nickel for every time I had to do that. <laughs> Now, Guy Ritchie, of course, famously made the Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels yeah. movies and with all the Cockneys with their tiny little mouths. That's right. Look at that. Yeah, got a tiny little mouth. <laughs> I've noticed about all those movies, all the Cockneys, when they talk, they go, Oi, here, yeah, I've got a rubber bank, yeah. <laughs> with my tiny little mouth. See how tiny A little bum is? hole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like... You don't say that in America. <laughs> <laughs> No, yes, they are. They do have those tiny little mouths. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you notice a lot of people with tiny little mouths in, in near where you live in London? Because that's where Cockneys are from, you know. Yes, that is. That's right. You know, I don't. I haven't noticed that a lot specifically. Of big people there. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Too many of those. I know. Why don't you come and live in America? It's lovely here. With you, yeah. Yeah, you could. You could live Sun. with me if you want. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe we'll see how the elections go, and I'll decide then. Oh no, no, no! You can't do that. <laughs> you, 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 you mustn't judge us on our elections. <laughs> Apparently it's not our strong point at the moment. <laughs> hey, how are your kids? They're amazing. Yeah, because you're, you're, uh, one of yours is about the same age as, as my son, isn't he? I think so, yeah, because I, I used to drop my kid off at kindergarten uh, with your boy. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, she's eight, Ripley. Yeah, yeah my, Ripley was Ripley. lovely. Is she yeah. named after anyone? In fact, when I was pregnant, uh, we watched the Aliens movie, and I just thought... I know, it's freaky, but there you go. And, uh, <laughs> but Sigourney Weaver's character in that is just the, the perfect woman. Kicking ass with a kid under her arm, and just saving the world from aliens. I just thought, that's my girl. That's, that's a great reason to call your child... What's your other child called? Nico. Nico, after... Yeah, I suppose so. After Nico, Velvet Nico that played with the Velvet Underground. Yeah. Do you know that in the I used to play drums for Nico? Oh, stop! I did when I was a drummer. Nico was a singer uh, for the Velvet Underground with Lou Reed, Andy Warhol's Velvet Underground, and then in when she was touring in the UK, I was her drummer. My mind scrambles. Oh, that yeah. is so hot. <laughs> you might you might want to tell that to Jerry Butler. Yeah, it's going to be hard for him to come up against that. Yeah, no. Well, he's got the whole abs in the movie 300 thing going on. You know they were painted on, though, by the way. That's animatronic. <laughs> CGI. No, no, it is. It's a complete... Uh, Jerry Butler's never done a yes. set-up in his life. Yes. He's never... It's never happened. I know Jerry Butler. He enjoys snacks. He does not have a six-pack of abs like that. I'm sure, I'm sure you're absolutely... You're absolutely right. And I know actors can actually pump iron next to the camera. And then so when they say action, they just jump up from having done all the... So that their muscles are, are freshly ripped really? at that moment. Yeah. I don't go in for that. 
I might. If you had to do a love scene with me. I might. I tell you, I'd be doing my crunches and getting my abs <laughs> painted on. Yes. Do you find it awkward doing the love scenes? You probably don't anymore. It's just it's all very clinical, isn't it? No, I do. I find it excruciating. Um... I, 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 I much prefer doing it in a tight close-up to camera. Oh, me too, As in yeah. rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's very nice. How long are you in town for? Just a few days. Really? A few days, but I had to come and see no, you. No, I like it when you come here. Because I just love yeah, you. Yeah, no, I, t I, I love you too. It's very nice to see you. I'm afraid we're out of time, but <laughs> well, if you want to hang around during the commercials, we can make out. Okay. Oh. Right. We'll practice. We'll practice. We can practice. Yeah, we'll practice. Stanley Newton, everybody. We'll be right back. Goodbye. <laughs> Watership down. It was about rabbits, but it was terribly sad. It made it made the life of a rabbit look awful. You know, we were all like rabbits were dying. Rabbits were going into rehab for alcoholism. It's been a while since I've seen the film. I think that's in it. But here's the thing: it's not that bad being a rabbit. Honestly, all right, it's quite bad. <laughs> well, you see, I'm quite, I'm quite far down the, the foot chain, foot, foot chain. <laughs> oh, that, that's <laughs> funny, you know, is it? That's funny. I'm down the foot chain, and that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> well, let me just explain. Rabbits as a species. Species are pretty far down the food chain. We could be eaten by dogs, uh, cats, um, chupacabras, uh, and bears. We could be eaten by bears. Oh, grow up. Anyway, the thing is, that's rabbits as a species. But me personally, I'm hard, me. That's right. I'll tell you, no, don't you laugh at me, I, I tell you, you try and eat me, I'll I will, I will, I'm a ninja, I, I do the Tung Sudo Korean style Kung Fu, and I'll rabbit you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I got a bit carried away there, because I'm, uh, you know, I'm passionate about my calls, <laughs> which is, uh, which is rabbit uh, freedom. <laughs> and I'd like you all to uh, look into your hearts <laughs> and think, well, maybe we could do a little more for rabbits. For example, for example, um, you know, get them little guns. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We'll see how far down the food chain we are. We'll... When a dog comes at me and I've got a gun. I'm like, ooh, woof, 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 woof. I'll be like, woof, woof, this. Oh, thanks, everyone.